In this video, we're going to be showing you how to install the Quellfire Intramescent and Acoustic Putty Pads into a socket box. The first step is to ensure that the socket box is installed correctly and that it is clean and clear from any dust, dirt or grease. Normally, the socket box should be flush with the front face of the plasterboard. But in this particular case, we have a metal socket box which is set back slightly within the plasterboard. In this application, the exposed edges of the plasterboard should be sealed with PVA glue before the putty pad is installed. The next step is to select the correct size putty pad for the socket box you have. In this case, a double putty pad for a double socket box. Remove the putty pad from the greaseproof paper and make a hole in the putty pad for the cable to pass through. The putty pad can then be inserted into the socket box over the cable, ensuring that the back and sides of the socket box are fully covered and that the putty is firmly pressed into place. The putty will self adhere to the box, providing you have taken care before the installation to clean the box as demonstrated at the beginning of the video. And when you are pressing the putty firmly into the socket box and the corners, you should take care not to overstretch the putty pad, ensuring the original minimum thickness of three millimeters is maintained throughout. Once the putty has been firmly pressed into the socket box, you can then trim off any excess putty flush with the front face of the plasterboard. Once the excess has been trimmed, you should ensure that the putty is firmly sealed along the front edge of the opening and the excess putty that has been trimmed can then be used to patch up any gaps in the putty pad, extend it to the front face of the wall, or used to seal back around the cables. Again, during this process, ensuring that the minimum three mil thickness is maintained throughout. If you don't have enough excess putty, you may need to use an additional putty pad if necessary to ensure that the socket box is fully lined and that the putty extends to the front face of the plasterboard. This particularly applies in applications like we have here, where the socket box is set back from the front face of the plasterboard, or in other applications tested by Quellfire, like metal media panels, which are normally larger than a standard double socket box. You will need to use multiple putty pads to ensure that the back and sides of a media panel are fully lined. We do have a number of unique details. For example, as mentioned, testing in metal media panels, where the socket box is set back from the front face of the plasterboard or the plasterboard has been cut oversized to the to the socket box. Once, once the installation of the putty pad is complete, the screw holes and any edges should be cleared of putty as demonstrated here. And finally, the cover plate can be fitted or refitted as required. These, the Quellfire installation details mentioned previously are available to download and or they are available on request from our technical department. If you would like these or have any questions, please get in touch using the contact details on the screen now.